OK, so let's say I was asked to evaluate this series. OK, so this is bringing back sigma notation that we've looked at before. Now, what you need to identify first is that we can do this using the sum uh, of n terms of a geometric series. OK, so we need to identify that it is geometric to start off with. The easiest way to do that is to look at the un, the nth term that you have been given. Because remember, this bit is always the nth term. And this, in this example, relates directly to the nth term that we have here. a times r to the n minus 1. a times r to the n minus 1. So that easily identifies a as being 4 and r as being 6 fifths. OK? Now, that's not to say that this will always be as obvious as that. OK? So an example where this isn't going to be as obvious would be something like the sum of, um, I don't know, it could be something like five, uh, five quarters uh, to the power of n where n is equal to 1 to 10. OK? You might have to uh, find that. So this is also geometric, but it's not in the form of a r to the n minus 1. OK? Where there's no uh, number there identifying itself, but a could be 1, I guess. And r, um, we, that could be r. But this is to the power of n, not n minus 1. So we need to identify a. OK, so that's uh, u1. So that's when n is 1. So you'd have 5 quarters to the 1, so just 5 quarters. And then u2 is going to be 5 quarters to the power of 2. So that is effectively, well, multiplying by 5 quarters. So you'd have a is 5 quarters and r is 5 quarters. And then you could sub those into this formula up here with n being equal to 10. OK, and you could go about it that way. So if we get back to this original problem, we have a is 4 and r is 6 fifths. Um, so s8, the sum of the first eight terms from 1 to 8, is equal to a. Um, times, let's go with the uh, top formula. So we've got 6 fifths to the power of 8. Take away 1. You've got to be careful with your brackets for this. And 6 fifths take away 1. Okay. So 4 times, let's put it into a fraction. 4 times uh, 6 fifths to the power of 8. Take away 1 divided by 6 fifths, take away 1. And that gets me 65.9963392. So that's equal to 66.0 to three significant figures. OK? So that is the sum of the first eight terms. Now, I might as well finish off this one and find the sum of the first ten terms here. So I'm going to use the second formula. OK, just uh, mix it up a bit. So we've got S10 is equal to A times by 1 minus 5 quarters to the power of 10 all over 1 minus 5 quarters. OK, so it's going to be a good practice of your fraction button here. So 5 quarters times by 1 minus 5 quarters uh, to the power of 10. Uh, divided by 1 minus 5 quarters. And that gets me 41.566.12873. So that's 41.6 to three significant figures. Okay? And that's how we can find the sum using sigma notation.